Hello everyone and welcome back to Life with Beck. Uh, in today's video, we will learn how you can use Siri to activate some commands for your Tesla. So this is a really cool tool uh, that you can use. And if you have an iPhone, of course, uh, you can really make your life easier uh, by controlling uh, Tesla from, uh, from the distance. So without further ado, uh, let's see what is required. Uh, for this to work. First of all, you need an iPhone, that's quite obviously. <laughs> and uh, uh, then uh, what you need to do is you simply need to navigate to the settings of your phone and go to Siri and make sure that you have Talk to Siri enabled. So if you have Talk to Siri enabled, uh, this uh, will basically allow you to say hey and the keyword, which I'm not gonna say now, uh, or let's practice for the sake of uh, this video. Hey Siri, What's the weather today? Expect partly cloudy skies today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 13 degrees with All overnight right. lows around four. Hey Siri, stop. Meanwhile, if you uh, want to see um, some basic commands that you uh, can use with your iPhone, you simply need to go to the shortcuts app, swipe back, and then you search for your Tesla app here. And you actually see all the shortcuts or all the commands that you can use uh, with your car. So uh, yeah, there are a lot, a lot of them and uh, not all of them are here. So you can uh, you can actually uh, find more on, uh, on the internet and I will also paste the website or resource where you can find different, different commands uh, for your Tesla. And uh, what I want to share with you today uh, is uh, like the, the most used commands that uh, uh, you can do and the one that can be really useful in different situations. All right, the next step uh, for these uh, shortcuts commands to work, you basically need to go to this information thingy and make sure that they are enabled with Siri. Otherwise, they won't work for sure. So let's see now uh, what the voice commands do we have here and uh, how can we use them. Uh, we are inside the car because it's quite cold outside. so. We're just gonna take it uh, one by one. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna do uh, right click because if I'm gonna use hey and the keyword, uh, that means that I'm gonna censor uh, the word every time. So let's try and see if the right click works. Right click also activates Siri. Open Tesla bonnet. Casper Frank opened. As you saw, uh, the frunk is open. Unfortunately, we cannot close it because we don't have a power frunk. But let's do unlock Tesla. Casper unlocked. unlocked. Yeah, and the Casper is the name of my car. Um, enable dog mode on Tesla. Dog, dog mode, mode enabled, enabled on, on Casper? Casper? Okay, looks like it's enabled, but... I cannot, oh yes, it's here, it's visible. So dog mode is enabled, let's click on it. Yep, dog mode is enabled. And the AC started working. Let's do the other way around. Disable dog mode on Tesla. Are you sure Are you, you, sure want, you to want to turn, to turn off, off dog, dog mode? mode? Yes. Dog, dog mode, mode disabled, disabled on, on Casper? Casper? And now it's uh, fully disabled. I will also turn off the uh, AC just to, to make it quieter. So you have a lot, a lot of options. You can simply uh, navigate through these and you can either press them uh, or activate them uh, vocally. Uh, let's do this. Open Tesla trunk. Rear, Rear trunk, trunk opened, opened on, on Casper. Casper. As you saw, the trunk is open. Close Tesla trunk. Rear, Rear trunk, trunk closed, closed on, Casper. on Casper. Yep, it's closing. Vent the car. Slightly, Slightly opened, opened windows, windows of, Casper. of Casper. Yep, and as you see, the windows are now open. And I'm gonna do close all windows. Closed, closed windows, windows of, Casper. of Casper. Yep, and the windows are closed. Hey Siri, do I need to charge my car? Your car is at 53%, which should be good for about 178 miles. You can also customize the shortcuts yourself. So uh, how to do that? Uh, well, you simply go here 
all shortcuts and then you add a new shortcut and you search for an action. Uh, what's very important to, to mention is that a shortcut can have more actions and uh, an automation can have more shortcuts included. Uh, we're gonna talk about automation later because this is how you really unleash the full uh, potential of uh, uh, this uh, uh, shortcut app of uh, your phone, but uh, you really need to understand that. So, so uh, what's important to know is that um, you can actually add multiple actions within a shortcut, as I said, and uh, for instance, I've created here some, uh, some useful uh, comments, uh, I believe, uh, that uh, can be used. Uh, so let's have a look at this one. Um, so this one it's called "Where is my Tesla?" This naming it's very important uh, because this is actually uh, how you activate these shortcuts with your voice command. Uh, so if you say "Hey, the magic word" and uh, "Where is my Tesla?", uh, you will basically flash the lights of Casper and honking the horn. Um, so uh, now I'm gonna do exactly that and again uh, one shortcut can have multiple actions so you can also do something else I don't know let's uh, do uh, let's do emission test let's do this for example of course it's a funny one but I really need uh, you to visually see that uh, this is working so now I'm gonna click on done uh, and I'm gonna activate this shortcut. Um, I'm not gonna use hey and the magic word. Uh, you can do that as well, but I really don't want to wake up all your iPhones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna long press on the right button here that activates uh, Siri. Um, so uh, let's see if uh, these shortcuts can be activated. Where is my Tesla? Casper flashlights, honked Casper horn. Emissions test succeeded on Casper. All right, so as you saw, uh, the shortcut worked. Again, the wording is very important because this one, what it's mentioned here, uh, will, uh, will activate your shortcut. So you can make a lot, a lot of shortcuts. Uh, I, I have another one, which is really nice. Uh, so make it cozy, make it cozy. Camp mode enabled on Casper. All right, so we just enabled camp mode and uh, actually the shortcut for this one is make it cozy, as I, as I said. So uh, the naming here, it's super important. Now. Let's take it to the next level and let's um, use the full potential of this uh, tool by enabling some automation on our car. Um, I wanted to show you first the uh, automation that I already have on the car. So uh, one of them is this one, for instance. Uh, let's assume that you uh, have a charger at home and you plug in your car uh, every time you uh, come home, but uh, you have a better tariff during the night. So. Uh, what I did, I said that every day at uh, 10, uh, 1047, uh, I would like to uh, start the charging, okay? So uh, that's something that I just created. Um, the automation is set on don't run, set to run immediately, run after confirmation or don't run. So uh, this is one of the automation that was already created and I want to create another one and uh, let's assume that you want to uh, have your car temperature set to 22 degrees every time uh, your alarm goes off in the morning and you are preparing to go to work so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create uh, a new automation with that but first um, i want to make sure that we have a shortcut that can be mapped to this automation. So I just created this one, uh, set temperature to 22 degrees on Casper. Casper is my car, by the way, uh, but for the sake of demonstration, I will just delete it and create it again with you so you can see. So uh, to create a shortcut, you simply go here on the plus sign, you go here to Tesla, and uh, you see here all the uh, actions that you can set on your Tesla. So we do this uh, 22 degrees thingy 
the naming is not really important because I'm not gonna use it with Siri, but I'm gonna use it as an automation. So whatever, let's do, uh, let's rename this to uh, automation waking up. Anyway, I'm not gonna use this vocally as I said. So now we have uh, the shortcut created and we have one action mapped to this shortcut. Now we need to go to automation and do this. Uh, let's say we said that we're gonna use the alarm. So uh, when uh, the wake up alarm is uh, stopped, I want to do something and let's say run immediately with a notification because I want the card to notify me when it's running. I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click for the condition. And uh, the condition like the shortcut I want to map to this automation is automation waking up. So now we basically have this automation here. Uh, when my wake, alarm, wake up alarm is stopped, um, the car will do this and uh, this is basically uh, setting the temperature to 22 degrees celsius uh, you don't have to activate it in any way uh, it will simply go off and i'm gonna i'm gonna do it on don't run because this is only for the purpose of creating this video uh, and showing you how the automations work again uh, you can do multiple multiple things what you need to understand is that the shortcut name is actually what you, what your input is vocally to Siri and the action name within a shortcut is not relevant. So the shortcut name is the one that matters, okay? Uh, of course, you can uh, put this here. So uh, let's say I want to, uh, whatever, add a new widget here and you can actually uh, map uh, you can actually map uh, these uh, these shortcuts uh, to appear on the screen so if we look here on shortcuts uh, you have lots a uh, lots of uh, of widget that you can add and uh, you can uh, have these shortcuts all of them appearing on the screen okay uh, let's uh, let's do this for instance let's add this widget here and we have four shortcuts. Of course, uh, the shortcut can be activated without uh, Siri, right? So uh, let's do this, for example, sentry mode. And we have sentry mode enabled on Casper. And if we go here, we have indeed the sentry mode enabled. And then I'm gonna go to set charge limit, allow set charge limit to run actions from Tesla. Okay, so we have this set charge limit set to 70. This is another shortcut that I've created. And also we have this one. Where is my Tesla? It's another uh, shortcut that I've created and it's flashing the lights, okay? Also horn. And the emission test, of course. All right, so let's uh, practice this outside. Let's assume that we are outside and we want to do something on our car uh, what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna use the hey and the magic word but I'm gonna do uh, it with the side button of my phone it's the same but again I don't want to activate uh, your phones uh, when uh, when uh, you are watching this video so uh, let's see what we can do with uh, our car open trunk all right so trunk opened close trunk yep it's closed um, it's really interesting because lots of you reported that uh, this uh, option is not really working well for me it's working really well so uh, uh, what I did I created the shortcut uh, and I renamed it with uh, open and uh, close trunk so it worked as intended flash Tesla lights Yep, and the lights flash. 
uh, this is super useful when you are in a parking uh, in the evening especially and uh, you want to know where your car is uh, i also have the other um, function uh, which is where is my tesla okay so uh this one triggered three actions the honk the fart and the flashes so if you really really want to find your tesla you will be very success successful with this one all right thanks everyone for watching i hope you liked uh, my video today again some uh, small tips and tricks that can help you make your life easier with the tesla uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more tesla tips and tricks also if you plan to buy a tesla don't forget to use my referral code down below this will bring you at the time of creating this video uh, 500 euros uh, or usd discount when you are ordering a new tesla uh, if you are interested in Tesla accessories, have a look in the description of this, of this video. I uh, partnered up with uh, many um, companies that uh, manufacture different Tesla accessories. So uh, have a look and uh, also you will get up to 20% off on all the websites that I mentioned with my Life With Back discount code. Stay tuned, a new video is coming soon and see you in my next video.